guys welcome back to my channel my name is Monet better known as Miss Creative Diva if you are just now joining me this is your first time I'd like to welcome you all to my channel if you've been here before welcome back babes I am excited to do this video today trying out a new foundation um, it is going to be um, born this way matte from Too Faced you I know it's a fairly new foundation um, but I don't hear a lot of people that are my skin tone or darker really talking about it. So definitely was tempted to try it out. You guys know that I love a matte finish. Um, I'm also going to be talking about um, the Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer as well. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing this complete look, let's go ahead and get started. So I went ahead and prepped my skin already. I already got my primer on. I got my moisturizer. I did double moisturize because we are going to be um, trying out this foundation. And so I am trying out the Born This Way from Too Faced. I went ahead and got a little sample size of concealer to see if I like it. And so the concealer that I've got is in Butterscotch. Hopefully this works. Um, and then the Too Faced um, foundation is the Born This Way, the matte. It's supposed to give you 24 hour coverage. Um, oil free. It's supposed to oil control. I don't believe that foundation is oil control, but it does state that it is transfer resistant as well. And so it's supposed to be undetectable, long wearing. Um, it does have coconut water, alpine rose, and hyaluronic acid, and that's to help give you that smoother skin um, or that smoother look uh, with your complexion and stuff like that. So, color shy. I really don't say that way. Shy, shy, whatever. I'm sure someone will correct me, but I think I got it. Um, and so, let me see. So, this is the one that you guys normally see me use, which is this one. Um, this is their regular Born This Way. It's still a medium to full coverage, undetectable. Uh, this one's just super long wear. So, I love the bottle. I mean, it still has that glass um, going on. I just love the packaging because I love black and gold, baby. If y'all have not purchased from my line, definitely go check it out. I love a black and gold, as you guys can see. Um, so yeah, so we're going to shake it up. Because it is a matte foundation, I, you know, I still love my, um, my matte. I'm just going to put this on my face, not so much under my eyes. still is you know warm so yeah definitely i already know it, it'll it'll work out it'll balance with the um highlight and stuff like that if i need to mix another one we'll do so definitely is warm you guys can see i'm way more cooler but i do like um the other foundation from them i like how it feels how it looks like it looks really really good um in pictures um so i was like i really like my other matte foundations that i use so i was like let's try this one out and so i'm gonna just kind of fast forward through this part um, as far as applying it i am using my alcone sponges you can get these from like camera ready cosmetics It looks okay, um, but I love more of a full coverage. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and probably add maybe one more. I feel like because I'm using a sponge, I need to go ahead and get a brush. So that way I can go ahead and build my coverage.
Now my contour I'm using um, is from Juvia's Place, shade number three. Now I have learned my lessons, <laughs> less is more with that product. So I'm just gonna put two dots and three little dots because sometimes the contour be, you know, it be a little much. It, it be a little much. So, you see, and I got, I just put that extra stuff off my hand for my hand be stained. So I'm just gonna grab just like literally a piece of my cover cream. You guys keep asking me um, about my cover cream. Um, and you could actually purchase it on Dermablend website. Or you can just go into, um, where did I get it from? I feel like I got it from like JCPenney's cause I believe that's where they carry it. Like some places have it, like the cosmetic counter, where you can walk up to it. Um, so you can try that just to get you like a sample cause that's how I started off. And then I was like, you know what? I really like the product. So I literally get this and y'all, this lasts me all year. I'm just gonna use my sponge, um, blend that out. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my concealer. The shade I'm using is Butterscotch. Um, this is just a trial, I mean, not the trial size, but like the travel size one. Let me see. It's gonna add, I love, I will say off back, I love the color. Um, it is really, really nice. Um, this is like my color highlight that like, it's more of a cooler tone. It's not so warm. So this definitely is going to tone down, you know, the foundation. Well, y'all, this color, like it is really, really nice, but I like, I like the coverage. I love the color. Y'all, let me have them blend this out. Starting, I am loving the way this looks. Like it's like freaking flawless, and it's not even set yet. Um, in regarding to your nose contour, if you use like you notice like when i do my nose contour i tend to use like a flat brush that is like this you can find one at morphe like this um i don't know who else has any but like any type of small brush even a small blending brush will work watch this i am it's fat right now but what i'm gonna do is take i'm not gonna add no more product to it I'm gonna just make sure that blends, you don't have any lines, cause that's like the biggest thing with having like that line on the nose when somebody contours. So I'm just gonna blend that. And I was kinda like sweeping it into that concealer, but you're still skinning, is that a word? Like, well, making the nose longer. So, that out. if you also want to kind of soften it up. And voila, magic. All right, so I really love my coverage. I'm just gonna add a little bit more, um, just the foundation like right underneath the contour.
I feel like for this video, I may just leave it as is, just so that way I'm not mixing no other products, so that way you guys can see the highlight. Alright you guys, so I came back, um, set my face. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my eye look. Um, today's eye look that we are doing. I'm thinking about doing like a holiday look, so just gonna just gonna go with the flow. Um, I am using a Perfusion palette, so I'm using the Chocolates palette, and then I probably will use um, the Nude Eyes as well, and because I'm sure I'm gonna need like a reddish brown. Um, I don't know why I didn't get another palette. Alright you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and start by applying a base. Um, the base that I'm using is going to be from P. Louise. This is in the shade number 5. I really, really like this base because it is more so closer to my skin tone. Um, I also have the shade number 6 as well. So I do recommend a darker shade. But if you do want to do something bright, you want it to pop. You definitely want to use a brighter base just to make those colors pop. Um, I'm then going to just add a little bit of translucent powder just to help with the fallout and then we are going to go into the nude eyes palette and I'm taking this soft brown eyeshadow um, and first applying that as my transition color. I noticed that it was not enough color so I am going to go back in with a warm brown eyeshadow. So next I'm going to go in with the chocolates palette and I'm going to go ahead and grab that warm shadow and I'm placing that on the outer portion of the eye and I'm going to blend that into the crease area. But I have my shadows placed, I'm going to go in with my base. I'm using the same base that we originally applied and I'm just cutting my crease. The brush that I'm using is from Morphe. I will put it down below because a lot of you guys ask me what brushes I am using. I keep saying I'm going to do a freaking video, you guys. Um, hopefully before the end of the year I can get one out. But if not, you definitely will be getting that in January. Just give me some time. I have been extremely busy, you guys. Next, I'm then going to go in with that same brown eyeshadow that we put in the crease. And I am just taking my blending brush. I love to use these because they pack on a great amount of color um, as well. And they do blend. But for this reason, we are just packing that color on. 
and then I'm gonna go in I'm taking a few shades of gold um, from this same palette I wanted to make sure that I did a drugstore eye look I have a full drugstore look coming up really really soon for you guys I know that you guys tend to like those so make sure you guys stay tuned um, I'm taking a really really small eyeshadow brush love these brushes because they definitely allow you to just pay attention to details and pack that color onto the lid and so I'm taking um, two golds I will put them down below um, but hopefully I'll show them in the video I'm not sure I can't remember you guys I did go in and add a champagne sort of gold um, at the beginning of the eyelid and then I am going to use a little bit of a pigment on the tear duct area and that pigment is actually going to be from Makeup Is My Life Cosmetics. I will leave um, her links down below. Um, definitely check her out. Black owned business. I'm um, a small indie brand that's coming up. I'm then going to go in and line my eyes. You guys know that I've been using and loving the NYX Cosmetics products, NYX, however you want to say it, NYX, whatever. Um, I'm using the Matte Liquid Liner. You can find these on a few um, websites, um, Ulta, um, NYX Cosmetics, um, what else, um, Amazon. I will leave the three links down below for you guys. So it just kind of depends on where you guys reside um, and what's the best options for you. I'm then going to go in with the glitter glue from NYX as well, um, just packing that on the lid with this small shadow brush. And then I'm going to go in with some glitter mixes that I made. Now you guys, I get a lot of questions in regarding how I mix my glitters, what I'm exactly using. I literally mix everything that I use myself, um, so I don't have a way of telling you what exactly it is. Um, so the glitters that I'm using is a mixture from Makeup Is My Life Cosmetics, as well as um, some other glitters that I got like a long time ago. I um, if you look at my old glitter video that I did I will post it in here So if you guys want to know where you can find some good glitters, I will link it down below Um, there are a few other cosmetic companies um, that I have uh, tried out as well Alright, so I'm just adding a little bit more of that pigment and then we are going to go ahead and add our mascara, pop on these lashes. The lashes that I'm wearing are going to be royalty today and they are from my line. Make sure you guys go ahead and shop. I have a coupon code down below for all my YouTube family. I'm gonna place a um, little bit of liner on the lower lash line um, in the water area. I said the water area, the waterline area. Um, it's gonna be from NARS. You guys, I really, really like this liner. Um, it's a gel formula, so that's why I really like it. It's really smooth. For the lower lash line, I am gonna go ahead and smoke that out. I am using the exact same colors that we applied on the eyes earlier. So I am using my new eyes palette. Primarily just taking that um, brown eyeshadow mixed with a little bit of that black.
right, so I'm just going to go ahead and set my face. Um, I am using just a little bit of the Beauty Bakery powder. I will leave a link down below for you guys. You guys see it practically in every video. Um, it is one of my staples. And then I'm just going to sweep the excess powder off of the face. I am going to go ahead and set my contour. Um, I am using um, Beauty Bakery product as well. This one is in, I believe, of the brownie bar. And so I'm just taking that warm eyeshadow. I'm sorry, not warm eyeshadow, but the palette. Uh, and just applying that for my nose contour as well as warming up around the face. Now that we have the contour set, I'm just going in adding my powder. The powder that I'm using is from Makeup Forever. This is their matte velvet skin powder. You guys, this powder is freaking amazing. Um, it's full coverage. You definitely can wear it alone. I will leave my shade down below because a lot of people tend to ask. They have a variety of shades. You can find it either at Sephora. Well, you used to. I think you still can, but I'm not sure. Then I'm going to go in with my blush, you guys. I have been loving a mineralized blush. It gives me the color that I'm looking for, but it's also really, really soft, and it has a little bit of shimmer in it. Um, I love my matte blushes, you guys, but sometimes, you know, you just want to sparkle a little bit more, and it's really, really kind of soft and girly for me. Um, so I'm just using that today. Um, next, I'm going to go in with my highlighter. I decided to use something different, um, so... Yeah, let me know what you guys think of the highlighter. Okay, so I'm adding my lip liner from... Why can I not think today? I cannot think from Morphe. I'm adding my lip liner from Morphe. I believe this is in the color Date Night, if I'm not mistaken. It is really similar um, to the MAC Chestnut. So definitely check them out. Literally less than half of the price. You can't beat it. Um, so I'm going to go in with the London lipstick from NYX Cosmetics as well. And then, baby, we are going to pop on my new gloss. Um, so for my gloss that I'm using, um, it is from my line it is called sugar baby definitely check it out if you have not um, we will have some more bundles coming up soon um, for the relaunch so make sure you guys sign up for notifications because y'all are really loving it and i did kind of change some things i can't wait to show you guys I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I hope you guys tried this look out. If you do, feel free to tag me and I will see y'all in my next video. Later.